Joseph, favored son of Israel. The road to Emmaus. On the third day after Jesus' crucifixion, two of his disciples were going to the village of Emmaus. While they walked and questioned each other, Jesus himself came near and walked with them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. What are we going to do now? I thought he was the one. Why are you walking and talking so sadly? Don't you know the things that have happened recently in Jerusalem? What things? The things concerning the prophet, Jesus the Nazarene. The priests and our rulers crucified him. But we were hoping that he would redeem Israel. And now it is the third day since these things happened. Also, some of the women from our group said that he was alive. <laughs> Foolish people. Didn't the prophets write that the Son of Man had to suffer these things in order to enter into his glory? Beginning from the law and the prophets, he explained to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. This is just one of the stories Jesus could have told. Consider the story of... Joseph! Greetings, Bible nerds. It is I, your friendly neighborhood, Christian comic artist, artsy, Bible nerd. Playing some music here for you. All right, so, uh, this is how far I've gotten so far on, how far I've gotten so far, on uh, page 19. Here's what it looks like with the blue layer and what it looks like without the blue layer. Uh, looks like we're, I still have to do some work on uh, panel two. I, I have to look up the script to see, I think, uh, I think Joseph has to open his mouth in panel two. So we have to make that happen. But I'm not, I'm pretty sure, but not completely sure. Uh, let's see, panel three, no, we already did panel three. This is panel four. Joseph needs to show some teeth because that's what is usually found inside the mouth. You usually find some teeth and a tongue. So we're going to work on that. Uh, also, not only are we going to do some drawing, but uh, I'm going to do some, uh, I got some questions I need, and I'm not sh really sure that uh, these questions are going to be answered on stream, or maybe they're just going to be get more questions, uh, but uh, I got some questions about the Bible, and as rightly so, rightly so, we should have some questions about the Bible if we are studying it for what it's worth, because none of us know all the answers to the Bible, do we? So I'm going to go through some scriptures and uh, ask harder questions than I have before uh, to these same scriptures. So, maybe we'll look at some commentaries, maybe we'll uh, look at some, do some research. I'm not sure how this is going to work out, but But I think it's worth doing. I think it's worth the effort to make it to make it happen. Uh, let's see what's going on here. So 
So the secret to drawing teeth is you draw the gums and you draw the, the spaces above the teeth, but not between the teeth. Do not draw between the teeth. For those of you who have heard me say that before, people who have seen me draw teeth before, sorry for repeating myself. Oops, let's try that again. Not so far down. All right, and we'll make the rest of the mouth dark. And then we need a tongue. Did not pencil in a tongue yet. And I think we need some lines on the lips. Whoop, that is too big. No, that's the wrong tool. I don't want that tool. I want this to be a brush line instead of a pen felt tip line. And let's see that without the blue lines. Okay, I think that's, I think that's ready for print. I was watching, there's another artist that I follow. Her name is, well, her screen name is, your face is so, your face is pretty, I think. Your face is pretty. Um, and she never shows her face, by the way, but anyway, neither here nor there. Um, she says she doesn't say that her drawings are done anymore. She just says it's ready for print. Because artists, if you give us enough time, if you give us enough leeway, we will draw that dead horse. We will draw that dead horse to a pulp. We don't beat dead horses, we draw dead horses. All right, there's another character in this here frame. Uh, this looks like a good time to stop and look at the first verse of the day. Uh, I wanna look at John 1, 1 through 18. This will blow your mind, if it hasn't blown your mind already. John 1, 
one through 18. The word became flesh. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God. Oops, here it is. In the beginning the world was with God and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him, all things were made. Throughout, without him, nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light, the true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world and through the world was made through him. The world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or husband's will, husband's will but born of God. Uh, the, world, the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. John testified concerning him. He cried out, saying, This is the one I spoke about when I said, He who comes after me has surpassed me because he, has, he was before me. Out of his fullness we have... Excuse me. Out of his fullness we have all received grace in place of grace read, already given. For the law was given through Moses... Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God but the one and only Son, who is himself God and is in closest relationship with the Father, has made him known. Wow, that is some first scripture to go over. I didn't pick an easy one for the very first scripture of the day. Maybe we should look at a commentary for that, shall, shall we? Let's do that. Let's, let's see if there's a commentary available. Resources. Commentaries. Uh, hopefully there's one that's free. Matthew Henry's is free. IVP is free. Theology of Work, Bible Commentary, interesting. All right, let's start with IVP, I think. John introduces the story of the revelation of the glory of God John introduces the story of... That's why I just said that. Uh, we are at the outset of a story that will reveal to us the most profound mysteries of life. This story is simply about God, the glory of his character, the nature of his life, and his desire to share that life with his creatures. It is about God come among, amongst us and the mixed response he received to his offer of divine life. John does not ease us into such